What's going on guys, PXCam20 back again with a brand new video. This video is a little bit different from our old videos. I'm not going to be doing any racing and commentary. We're actually going to go over the top 5 worst racetracks on GT Sport. Now if you guys haven't yet, we're trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you guys really like this video, please subscribe and leave a like on the video. It really helps out the channel. And that's enough of uh, wasting your time. Let's jump right into the video. So when making this list, I decided to go on a GT forum and ask people what are their top three worst tracks um, in the game. And on the forum, a lot of people responded back. We had a total of 50 submissions of people submitting their three worst tracks that they hated the most. So what I did is I tallied them all up from all the racetracks on the game to get our definitive list here. So don't crucify me if your favorite track is on this list as I didn't build this because of my personal reasons. I built it off of other people's decisions and what they decided to pick for the top three worst tracks. So anyways, let's jump right into the list. So coming in at number five, we have the Willow Springs International Circuit. Now the reason why a lot of people do not like this track is because it's such a difficult track. Me personally, I love the challenge of this track as it flows very, very well and uh, it just gives it that characteristics of if you mess up, you mess up. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people did not like this track though. They did not like the fact that if you hit a tire on that dirt, you're basically done for. You're basically either spinning out somewhere else into the unknown or crashing into, a diff uh, into another car. Now, the difficult thing also about this track, especially is when you're racing. When you're racing side by side with other cars, you have to be very, very careful that you don't bump into him or they bump into you. Because if not, one of you guys are going to hit that dirt and you guys are going to go spinning. It's very, very driven on just focusing and just being as perfect as you can every single lap. But on top of that, trying to push it to the limit so you can try to make overtakes and capitalize on other people's mistakes. Again, it's not a track that a lot of people really like because of the difficultiness, but it's something that's very, very challenging and a very, very rewarding experience if you guys get it right, especially um, that last and final turn. So this is the reason why Willow Springs was put at number five. So coming at number four, on the outskirts of Milan, Italy, we have the Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. Now this track, I can say a lot of things about this track. Very, very fun track, especially when you have good players around you, but when you're racing in a pack, this track can be one of the most frustrating tracks on the game. The reason why is because you can see just if you get the pole on lap one, you can get punted out immediately heading into turn one. It's just a death corner, honestly, if you are racing with very, very untalented players or just really bad players or people just want to shunt you. It's a very, very difficult track to get right to. If you outbreak yourself, you just go straight into part of the track that just brings you back to the track and you basically lose maybe five or six different positions instead of being able to drive completely through like in other games. Another frustrating thing about this track, if you're racing with other cars and you are side by side, especially heading to Ascari, you can just push the other car out and they'll go straight to dirt and the car that bumped you out will not get a penalty. So that can be very, very frustrating as you can do that on a lot of these turns, especially in Parabolica, the first chicane and the second chicane. Just a lot of um, quick stops that where a lot of cars that, especially if they're inexperienced, they don't know the braking points, can just immediately punch you out and it could just lead to a frustrating day when you race that Monza. So that's why Monza was picked as number four. Coming in at number three, straight from the heartland of Japan, we had the Suzuka International Circuit. Now, this famous track, home to some of the most famous turns such as 130R and the Spoon Curve, was picked at number three due to the difficultiness, just like Willow Springs. It's a very, very flowing track, so if you get one corner correct, you're gonna get the other corners correct. But if you get one corner wrong, it's gonna be a very, very bad time, especially if you're heading through the S's. Now, this track is home to some of the most difficult corners on the game, such as turn number one heading into turn two and Spoon Curve. If you go into turn number one with too much speed, immediately you're gonna clip the outside part heading into turn number two and spin out, same as in Spoon Curve. If you hit the first left apex very, very wide, then you're gonna either spin out or you're just gonna head straight into the wall. Another challenge a lot of players face whenever they race on this track, especially when you're racing in a pack, if you clip that grass, you're going straight to the wall or you're spinning out and ramming into another player. It's very, very difficult to keep it on the track just because of how narrow this track is, especially heading through the S's and coming out into Degner 1 and Degner 2. If you get any of those corners incorrectly and you go a little too wide and you clip that grass or that dirt, you're basically going to be losing a, a ton of positions as there's not a lot of extra room to make mistakes on this track. 
Running side by side is very, very difficult too because you have to concentrate a lot. If not, you're going to be bumping the other car out just because of how narrow this track is. And this track can lead to a very, very difficult time if you don't know the rhythm of the track or know the lines that you have to take when going into all these corners. So that's why Suzuka was picked at number three. And coming at number two, straight from the heart of France, we have the Circuit de Saint Croix. I don't know if I said that correctly. Excuse me, I don't really speak French, but that is our number two. Now, now the reason why this track was picked as number two, a lot of people did not like the fact that this track is just very, very long and very boring. They've put this in the same realm as a Tilka track. I don't know if I pronounced his name right, but the Tilka track, the ones that, that makes the Formula One tracks, is there's just a lot of 90 degree turns, really no elevation change to give the track any characteristics, and just a very, very long lap, as this lap can take, I believe, anywhere between two to three minutes, depending on how fast you are. But uh, very, very long, especially with the uh, modifications of different parts of the track. A lot of people picked this because of the long sweeping corners, not really that many overtaking um, points that you guys can really do on this track, as well as just no characteristics of the track and just very bland. So this is the reason why a lot of people picked this as their number two. Now, coming at number one, if you guys have not been able to predict it yet, it is the Tokyo Expressway. A lot can be said about this racetrack as there are more than three configurations of this racetrack that run either regular or reverse wise when running this race. Now, I really don't like this track. I know a lot of people don't like this track, hence why it's picked at number one. And there's a lot of reasons why, so let's dive right into it. The first thing that I don't like about this track is that it's very slipstream dependent. If you're not in the slipstream, you're basically going to lose the race, or if you fall like maybe five or six seconds behind the leader, you're not going to win the race. It's, it's very, very slipstream dependent, and unless the car is in front of you make a mistake, you're basically not going to be able to catch up unless you have the help of another car helping you tow you through the track. The second reason why a lot of people did not like this track too, including me, was because of the wall. If you hit that wall, even if you just mistakenly uh, I'll break yourself and go straight into that wall. You're gonna get either a five second or a seven second penalty And it's very very unforgiving as you get a penalty Plus you lose speed plus you lose a, lot, a ton of positions and you run the risk of running away from the uh, slipstream So that's another reason why a lot of people did not like this track Now the third reason why a lot of people did not like this track was during racing situations When you race on this track and you're going side by side into a corner You run the risk of basically every single time getting hit by another car and ramming straight into the wall thus making you lose a ton of position because you lose so much momentum after you clip in that wall. And unlike other tracks, if you're racing side by side and the car accidentally bumps you out of the way, you go straight into that wall and then you lose a ton of positions and momentum. Unlike other tracks, you don't go into a grass area or a dirt area, so you can't really save it or keep it on the, or drive it back onto the track. You're basically, once you hit that wall, you're done for and you lose so much position. Plus, you also sometimes get a penalty even if somebody else hits you. And those are the reasons why a lot of people pick this as their number one worst racetrack on GT Sport. Now those are the top five worst tracks on GT Sport picked out by the community. So again, if you guys disagree or agree, leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation down there and see whether this list is on point or if it's just completely wrong. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe as we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And leave a like on the video. It really helps out the channel when you guys do so. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.